there's just so many cars on the road. This region has some of the worst congestion in the country. Traffic in Seattle is ridiculous. There's just nowhere for anybody to go. Traffic in Seattle is insane. It's right here. John Niles believes he has the solution. It totally is time to change the thinking uh, when it comes to transportation. The city of SeaTac hired the transportation researcher to design a program using self-driving vehicles. The shuttle would be pulling up right here? Yes. His plan includes running six self-driving shuttles. It does got strong brakes. Like these already being used in Las Vegas and Madison, Wisconsin. Picking up people at their homes in certain SeaTac neighborhoods, then dropping them off at this transit center in Tukwila, where they would have access to light rail or buses to get where they need to go. They allow uh, new, creating new services that let people leave their cars at home, maybe not even buy a second car. He's not the only one who believes self-driving cars could take traditional cars off the road. This is going to be much cheaper than owning your own car. That's Daniel Malarkey, senior fellow at the Sightline Institute. Here's the theory. If rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft remove the human driver and associated labor costs, you get the cost down to 15 cents per mile, much less than you're paying now for gas, insurance, car registration, and depreciation, meaning it will be cheaper to travel if you don't own a car. And fewer cars means less congestion. It's just pure economics. People are going to say, I want this because I can put seven, you know, two, three, four, five thousand bucks in my back pocket each year by getting rid of my car. Not everyone's convinced. There's three different versions of what an autonomous vehicle is. Mark Hallam, ex the director of the Washington State Transportation Center. Could autonomous vehicles be a silver bullet for our congestion problems? No. They are a coming thing and they will be beneficial to many people. Um, on the other hand, they will create a series of significant problems that we will also have to address. The biggest problem, according to him, people will send off their self-driving cars to run their errands, picking up the groceries, dry cleaning, dinner, and the kids. If you were going to place a bet in Vegas, are autonomous vehicles gonna make our traffic better or worse? How do you bet? In my lifetime, they will make it worse. In my lifetime. By the time you get to Minority Report, you know, or Terminator in those, you know, 20 years out, sure, maybe they'll make it better. Okay, I think you can see where this is going. Clearly there's disagreement. So we took the topic to Inrix, a global leader in studying traffic data. Do we know yet whether this technology will help or hurt with congestion? We don't. The jury is very much still out there. Largely because according to Inrix, self-driving cars are so new untested, unproven, and thus far unavailable to provide enough insights on their potential impacts on traffic. It may not be the entire solution from what you're saying to our traffic troubles. Is it part of the solution or could it be? It certainly could be. Uh, and I think that's why it's important that we continue to explore the technology and continue to find ways to bring it to market in ways that are safe and most importantly meet consumer needs. It's a new crossroads in transportation, according to Robin Chase, co-founder of the ride-sharing company Zipcar, who created this video. I see two distinct possibilities for our automated car future, heaven or hell. We get to choose. When it comes to the future of these vehicles, you describe it as heaven or hell. Why? So there are these pluses and minuses, and I want to make sure that we end up on the plus only side because the bad side is we will use these cars to do every single blessed thing that we haven't imagined before. How do we avoid the hell scenario? The way we avoid hell is we have to make it more, part, more expensive to drive during rush hour. The only way you can correct congestion is to charge for it. Making many of us wonder about the real cost and benefits of the vehicles that will be driving the future.